You're right, Paul. They Michigan only had 10 players on the field because one just came on during that sound bite. Power eye, Kulkrick bangs into the middle. Did he get there? His players are saying he did. The officials are not. Anton Campbell in there to help out on the stop. Now they say touchdown. His 17th of the year. Take a shot from your own end zone to just try to get some room out there. Henny under center. Second down and nine from the two. And here it comes. A throw by Henny. Deep. Manningham made the catch. And they're looking Michigan State for a flag because they thought Manningham pushed off. This is about up here at the top. It's just going to go straight down the field. Single coverage. Just throw it up and let my guy out catch your guy. You saw it about the 39-yard line. Was that a little left hand out there? Yeah, well, they were both touching each other. I think that was a good call. It's change on every play. They're all the same. They've no, all don't. been the same. If they're both doing it, it isn't a penalty. And he going deep now the other way. This one just overshot. Mario Manningham again. That might have been a touchdown if he'd have just pulled a string a little bit. Third down and seven. They got to get to the 41, the Wolverines. Henny in trouble. Got hit as he threw, and it's incomplete, and it's Janal St. Deep that got him again. Boy, they did a twist. Three move halftime, Michigan State is five yards away from regaining the lead as we start the fourth quarter. Power eye. Hoyer, play action. Throws. Wide open, Davis. Touchdown. Hoyer's first touchdown pass in the last 13 quarters. It was the first play of this fourth quarter. And Davis on the other end, and the Spartans at home in front. And now it's Mesco to punt. So Michigan can't regain any kind of momentum. It's Michigan State on the fly, Terry Love. And he gets buried. No gain on that return, but great field position for Michigan State. They got the ball and the lead when we come back. Michigan faithful hoping their defense can come up with the play of the day on their side of the ball because this is it right here. Third down and goal. Colquitt. Touchdown. Fourth time, Colquitt gets a first down or a touchdown on third down. Michigan now, all those stars are out there, even though they're walking wounded. Henny to throw on first down. Completes it out to Arrington. Arrington tiptoes out of bounds with a first down at the 32-yard line. And Henny, oh boy, the He's right knee, it. and that might be the last play. Mallett doesn't have his helmet on yet, but he might be getting ready to. Well, this is gutsy seniors. Henny and Hart, who were questionable all week up until shake game off on the sideline. Michigan fans are trying to shake off the fact they're down 10. And now the freshman is in a boiling pot he's never been in before. Ryan Mallett, he's played a lot this year, but not in this atmosphere. And down he goes. Mike Hart picks up the ball. Hart picks up the ball, and he's running to the first down and it's a play the uh, the whistle did not blow how so many crazy things are we going to see <laughs> and here's mallet's first snap and here comes the heat the hit the fumble a yeah. one hopper to mike hart basketball season truly is underway bob you said it earlier <laughs> yeah. this this is almost as weird as that play that ringer ran two times over 200 but might not be enough today the deep out, got a man at the 45, it's Manningham, and it's a first down Michigan. Chad Henney kind of limping up to get his huddle around him after delivering another strike. He's back in the pocket again, and again throws a strike to the right, complete to the 40, and a flag's fly in at the end of the play. Boy, here's one of those things that are just so dumb, and, and it, well, not dumb, how about stupid? That the man is out of bounds, and then you go whack him. He was there also, Davis Bob, Clark, but Davis Clark is okay. the guy that is going to come out. Watch this. Why are you even oh, I mean, okay. How dumb can you be? Yeah. Seven minutes and change remaining. Chad Henney. 
battling a bad knee and a bad shoulder and a Michigan State defense. Throw in, got another one complete. This time Arrington, and it's inside the 15-yard line. First down, Wolverines. Yards. Any pressure coming to the end zone. Touchdown! What Matthews. a great, what a great throw! What a great throw! 14-yard strike to Matthews, and Michigan's right back in it. Remember, Chad Henney had to limp off on a bad knee, came back in one play later, and now throws his 83rd touchdown pass of his brilliant Michigan career, and he's got his team right back in the thick of this thing. The streak is five straight for Michigan. Michigan State's trying to change that here this afternoon. And the Michigan defense stands up Javon Ringer. No gain on that one. To try to eat up clock and get a win. They're going to try. Kokrick popped out of the backside. He still got some guys draped around him as he got to the 32-yard line. It's going to be short of the first down, though. It's rushing in the second half. They want two more right here. Kokrick on a toss. And he's not going to get to it. They got to give it up. Max Pollock helped out on the stop. It's going to be relatively short. And bounces out at the 34-yard line. To Hanny's right side. Chad throws to the out again. And Arrington made a diving catch. That would look like it was going to be too far out in front of him. He just laid out and got it. Hanny. Deep out again. Completes short of the first down, though, by about a yard. It's Manningham again. Today. Brandon Miner in there. Mike Hart's not. Miner gets the call. Hit. Bounced off. Flag. Second effort. Got the first down. But again, a flag is down. It's against Michigan. He's the big tight end. And it, that's a Ten call. Yards, Paul, got spot. Repeat third down. Now instead of first down at the 40. Third down and 11. Chad Henney has time, scans the field, and throws complete. That thing was almost intercepted, and now it's Arrington, and it's a first down. He's got so much time to work with. Oh, look at the blitz. Henney completes it over the middle this time. Butler, I uh, beg your pardon, Matt Manningham, and he's got it inside the 30, 15 more yards. There's nobody around Manningham because everybody was blitzing. They need some yardage just to give their kicker a shot even if they don't get all of it. Again, a three-man rush. Henny going to lob it to the corner. Michigan State. Touchdown, Manningham! It looked like a jump ball, but the defender just couldn't get back there. The defensive back did not play the ball well, and Manningham went up and got it. Michigan 28. Michigan State 24. We'll give you a look from up high, Bob. Well, they're just going to go down. He says, just get in the end zone, and I'll throw you a jump ball. It's Weaver against Manningham. We'll stop and go. Now they're both seeing. Weaver sees it. He just doesn't make a play on it. Throw him back away from it. Manningham does a nice job of kind of keeping some room so he can fade away to catch the ball. Comes right at you and right at Mario Manningham. And the jump in the corner for the touchdown. Manningham, how often has Manningham... Done? Devin Thomas with a 17-yard pickup. Look out! And Hoyer had to just go down at the 42-yard yeah, line. They're mixing, the defenses are making, mixing it up really nice. Middle's open. Hoyer would like to think so. There it is, but the ball is incomplete. Deion Curry. Now have somebody go in the shadow. Double overtime and now down by four. Hoyer, heavy pressure. Throws wide side. Broken up by Morgan Trent. And now there's one chance left. Time throw. In the gun. And they're going to blitz. Hoyer, deep middle. Incomplete. And Michigan will take over. Hoyer was expecting him to get into the inside much quicker because there was a lot of open ground inside. That's where he was throwing the ball. 
As the Michigan players come out on the field, they'll have a quick prayer and celebration, I guess. They're all out there, and the Michigan State guys can only head to the locker room knowing that they had a chance. They had them by 10, and they couldn't hold on. So Michigan wins it with a comeback led by Chad Henney. And our Chevrolet players of the game today, I don't think there was any doubt when you looked at Michigan, it was going to be Chad Henney, tying a career high with four touchdown passes, playing on a bad leg.